It's Morning Edition from NPR News and 90.1 WFYI. I'm Ray Steele. Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. A little over 100 years ago, Francis Ethel Gum was born in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. That's one county away from Canada, in case you're wondering. Just a few years after that, Francis would start performing with her older sisters. Eventually, they changed their name to the Garland Sisters, and Francis became Judy. Simply put, Judy Garland was one of the biggest and perhaps most complicated stars in history. And who better to tell her musical story than Michael Feinstein? The artistic director at the Center for the Performing Arts in Carmel presents his show, Get Happy. Michael Feinstein presents the Judy Garland Centennial this Saturday at the Palladium. Michael, welcome. It's good to talk to you again. You too, Ray. Always a pleasure. Now, as an experiment, I went downstairs and asked one of the younger members of our WFYI News Department, Judy Garland, what can you tell me about her? They told me, well, I, th I think I've heard the name, Judy Garland. Then I mentioned Wizard of Oz. They said, oh, okay, yeah, she was Dorothy, right? Yes. That's all they knew about Judy Garland, Michael. So how do you begin to describe Judy's contributions to not just the musical world, but our culture during her abbreviated time with us? Yes, she, she lived to be 47 years old, and it's amazing that in that time, she changed the face of the Hollywood musical because she was such an extraordinary presence on screen and was the performer whom every uh, songwriter and director wanted to work with because she had such abundant talent that that they created special films just for her, and she was a top 10 box office star and then went on later to do 1100 live concerts and created another uh, series of, of legendary uh, historical performances because she just was this woman who uh, understood the human condition and she connected with people on such a deep level that people felt that she was speaking to them personally. And she uplifted people in spite of the fact that she had her own travails and putting together a show to pay tribute to her was no small feat. Judy seemed in her film career to be typecast as the little girl. How do you think she overcame that to give us this body of musical work that you're going to be celebrating, do you think? Well, the studio had to face the fact that when she was 20 years old, that she was growing up and she was becoming a woman. And eventually, thanks to Vincent Minnelli, whom she worked with and then married, uh, she was perceived by MGM finally after all these years of making juvenile films as a beautiful woman. And when she was younger, she was maligned uh, by her uh, contemporaries who said she wasn't attractive. And then she blossomed into this gorgeous woman. And so it was a natural progression. But she did have to fight for it, especially her first role where she could actually play an adult. I was so glad to see that Liza Minnelli, Judy's daughter, who is thankfully still with us, and thankfully, just as Liza as she ever uh, has been, is uh, the executive producer of this performance that you uh, are, have uh, put together. I've seen you do lots of concerts. This is more than just a concert, what you have done to celebrate 100 years of Judy. Yes, it is. And Liza is the one who encouraged me to put this show together because she wanted younger generations to see who her mother is. And the family gave me access to over 7,000 photographs. And private home movies and a recording of hers that has never been heard before that I actually discovered where I accompany her on the piano. So it, for people who don't know anything about Judy Garland, it's a multimedia, uh, uh, very fun and extraordinary history lesson that shows why she's important, why she deserves to be remembered and why she affected so many people and still does. The show is entitled Get Happy. Michael Feinstein celebrates the Judy Garland centennial. It's this Saturday evening at the Palladium. Information is at thecenterpresents.org. And it's always good to talk to Michael Feinstein. Uh, anytime you are in town, sir, you're always welcome here. I appreciate your time, and good luck with the performance this weekend. Thank you so much, Ray. It's a pleasure to speak to you as well.